What up Jaguars? Mr. Lar back with another video demonstration. This is the French horn edition. Obviously, this is for all I want for Christmas is you. Uh, a couple pointers for the French horns. Your key signature has exactly zero sharps, zero flats. That means all the notes are naturals except for those pesky accidentals. Those do come into play quite a bit. You've got your A flat, which can be played one of two ways, two and three, or if you have this trusty trigger right here for your thumb, means you got a double horn. You can play trigger actually above any note above open G you can use the trigger with, and it actually helps you hit that note a little bit more accurately. So two, three, or trigger two, three, same thing for A flat, okay? Uh, by the way, when you use the trigger, if you have a double horn, any note above open G is the same fingering as normal. Even C, you can play with a trigger as long as all the other valves are open, okay? Um, high D is the only one that's a little bit different. Instead of open or one, it's actually trigger one and two. So that's the only difference if you're gonna use that trigger. If not, you're used to just using the open notes or the regular French horn notes. If you don't have a double horn, then you don't even worry about this. You use all the regular fingerings, okay? Um, make sure that you are ready for the main melody at 25. Sounds like this. you have the first half of the melody then again at 33 you chime in with the melody again higher notes though this time that high d is a pesky one to get to so make sure you're working on buzzing fast enough to get to that high d okay that comes back a few more times there is a syncopated part that you really need to be ready for at measure 57. So 53, you've got a, a double whole note with A flat. By the way, the A flat carries on into the next measure. So keep that second and third valve down. Open G a couple times. And then this is that syncopated part I'm talking about. so it's a little more um, intelligible, uh, so you can hear a little bit better. 57 again, here's that syncopated part. And then that takes you to the four measure rest, and then you're at 69 with the melody again, all right? So be ready for that syncopated part. The only other kind of syncopated part is the section that comes in at 79 and then again at 87. All right, that's basically it. Watch out for that one last A flat at the very end. And let's give it our, our best shot at this, okay? Uh, I'm going to play with an external speaker. I don't want you to record this way. Keep in mind that I do want you to use the landscape mode. Make sure we can see your head, your shoulders, and your instrument. Make sure you do the clap with the recording, but do not use an external speaker. Make sure you use headphones or earbuds when you do this, all right? Let's give it a try. All right, the first thing we're going to do is line up our audio and video with a clap. You'll hear one measure of metronome, you'll hear me count you in, and then we're going to clap together on beat one. Make sure that your hands are very visible in the video and that you're clapping right in time. Here we go. And one, two, ready, and clap. All right, if you missed it, go ahead and restart the video and try again. Now let's get ready to perform. Make sure that your head, shoulders, and instrument are clearly visible. You're going to hear one measure of metronome, one measure of count off, and then we're in at the beginning of All I Want for Christmas is You. Here we go. And one, Thank <laughs> you. 
So obviously I didn't play that perfectly. I don't expect you to play it perfectly. You're going to have a few mistakes here or there unless you are a perfectionist and you just record this so many times that you finally get it 100% accurate. Don't put yourself out doing that, okay? Do like two or three takes in a row. Give me the best of your three takes, all right? Even if there's a couple missed notes here or there, it's not going to be a huge deal. Obviously you want to get as many right notes and right rhythms as you can, but don't beat yourself up if you keep missing a particular note like that high D is really tough to get I know whether you're using the trigger or not if you don't have a trigger then you just gotta really make sure you're shooting high for that high D that it's hard to hit no matter what valve combination you're using okay so uh, if that were my recording or if you submitted that recording kind of the way I did I would be fine with that, okay? Even with the, a couple of missed notes here or there, it's gonna be good, okay? Just remember to run the uh, guide track, the one from that Google document, with the instructions for our recording through some earbuds or headphones. Don't use an external speaker like I did, okay? Best of luck to you, I'll catch you guys in the next one.